If you want to be approved for a First Citizens credit card, I want you to really follow the step-by-step -step I'm going to share with you into this conversation. First thing we have to do is we have to familiarize ourselves with uh, the card types that the First Citizens provides, okay? Because the First First Citizens is First Citizens rather is not your Chase or your City or your or your Bank of America. It is a geo-restricted bank. However, the bank does have a great uh, bevy of uh, credit cards. So let's quickly go through that. So. You need to know First Citizens credit cards. So you have the Travel Rewards credit card, which is which is really great as the name implies for traveling. So you have three points for, for, for travel, two points for dining, and 1.5 points for every dollar spent on qualifying purchases. You have the no earnings cap and points never expire on this card, on this card, and no foreign transaction fees. And but the card does have a $95 annual fee that's worth the first year. So besides the Travel Rewards credit card, you have also the Cash Rewards credit card. So as the name implies, what we love about First Citizens credit cards is that the names of the card are, are pretty pretty self-explanatory. So the Cash Rewards credit card is great for cashback. So if you are listening to me right now and you are interested in a Cash Rewards credit card from First Citizens, I want you to go with the First Citizens Cash Rewards credit card. Here is a, a card that allows you to seamlessly transform your everyday purchases into unlimited cashback with uh and again the, the good thing is that the the, the card the cashback does not expire so you can get the cashback anytime you want you have 1.5 percent unlimited cashback on every dollar spent on qualifying purchases you can redeem for a statement credit or transfer your earnings to your other first citizens accounts and the good thing we love about this card here is that you pay a no annual fee and one thing i want to say overall when we when we uh, when we analyze the first citizens credit cards that you might have access to just pay attention to your needs everything starts with your needs why because even if you are qualified even if you you got the card but you're not able to uh, to actually use the card optimally you you are basically losing money because there's something called opportunity cost and then this is not really good for you but overall based on our research what we have seen here is that I would say uh, 90 to 95 percent of families in the states they have a relationship with first citizens are better off going going for the cash rewards credit card so this could be a possibility for you the first citizens cash rewards credit card And uh, so when we talk about the First Citizens credit cards, there are two other credit cards I want to share with you. Actually, there are, there are more, but I want to share like two or three with you. You have the Rewards credit card. So the First Citizens Rewards credit card. So this card is great for everyday purchases. So you are able to earn more rewards points on everyday purchases like gas and groceries. You have, you have three points for gas and select streaming services. You have two points for groceries and drug stores and one point for every dollar spent on qualifying purchases. And the, the cool thing here is that you can redeem rewards points for cashback, gift cards, and merchandise. And the cool and even cooler thing that we love here, that you, you pay no annual fee. So this is really, really good. Okay, you are able to do a lot of things here. It's just fantastic. You also have another card that we we call the smart i mean we call the first citizens called the smart option credit card and it's a card that's great for if you're looking for a low interest credit card at uh at first citizens you might love this card a lot i mean it's really great and uh so with a card you actually can use uh you can transfer balances you can consolidate your debt so you have a zero percent intro apr on balance transfers for the first 12 months then a 14.99 to 23.99 percent variable apr so you can consolidate higher interest rate balances and you pay no no annual fee and the cool thing is that if you are and this is kind of cool also if you have like a, let's say you have right now you have multiple credit cards multiple loans or what have you you can be approved all the way to fifty thousand dollars for all first citizens credit cards we have seen that the average the, the maximum limit rather the maximum limit is around fifty thousand dollars and you also have another credit card the secured cashback credit card this is secured so this is great for a building credit so this this personal credit card can help you earn unlimited cashback while you build your credit so you have one percent unlimited cashback on every dollar spent on qualifying purchases you can establish or rebuild your credit and you can monitor your credit with your free monthly FICO score within uh, first citizens digital banking so this is kind of cool so overall one thing i want to say here is that you have a constellation of credit cards i mean you have four you have more right you have four primary credit cards that you can avail yourself of and you actually use to uh, so if you want to be approved for a first citizens credit card first have a clear idea of what types of credit cards that uh, the bank has if you have any question you can always contact the bank 
and so 1-800-FC-DIRECT now what now now 100 one triple eight one triple eight fc direct two three two three four seven three two so the first thing i want you to do here is to familiarize yourself with uh first citizens credit cards number two i want you to have a clear idea about first citizens as a bank so first citizens I mean, First Citizens is not a national bank. It is a regional bank. And uh, so they do cover a certain geography that you need to be aware of. But when it comes to their credit cards, you don't have to live in that geography. You don't, you don't have to live in the states where First Citizens uh, provides loans and credit cards, whatever. So they actually uh, provide credit cards for anybody. And we love the fact that First Citizens is a full service bank with plenty of digital, uh, di di digital tools. We love the fact that in the last few years, we have seen a transformation of First Citizens into a regional bank, into a, an all digital bank. This is, I mean, they still are a, uh, a regional bank, but they are they, they have ramped, they have actually uh, ramped up their investments in digital technology. This, this is really good. And one thing I need to uh, specify here is that First Citizens is not the same thing as Citizens Bank. Those two are totally different. So, uh, you know, while it can be confusing, to actually think about the two first citizens bank and citizens bank are entirely different financial institutions so when we talk about today's topic first citizens uh, credit cards have to be approved let's look at the pros and cons of the institution itself so here are the pros you have plenty of account options so besides credit cards you have plenty of account options you have 600 branches in 22 states you have se several rewards credit cards and you have a great mobile app so this is kind of cool that we love that a lot and uh so but one thing i want to say here is that even though the bank is in is in 22 states for their credit cards you don't have to necessarily live in those 22 states there are there are cases where they can approve you even though you don't live in that in one of those states what about the cons here you have low savings low savings rate so if you're considering a first citizens for a savings account or, or or a certificate of deposits or an ira or or you know anything that has a, a savings component you might be disappointed here you have lots of fees and there is an, there are no sign up bonuses and the bank is not available everywhere so it's important to, to know that I want to quickly give you an overview. So if we, if we were speaking about first citizens credit cards, how to be approved, it's important to, to have a clear idea of what the bank can, can actually bring to you. Because beyond credit cards, you have to think about, you don't, you, you, you don't just get a credit card simply because you love the bank. You have to, be, you have to make sure the bank is also bringing to, to you a constellation of other financial services. So but besides banking and savings, you might want to consider the bank also for lines of credit for loans for for all kinds of stuff okay so there are there are some reasons why we love uh, first citizens and i want to go through them with you now the together card can help you can help your kid manage money so the together card is a reloadable visa debit card so once the funds run out your child can't use it so this eliminates the risk of overdrafts and teaches financial responsibility so it's free with the prestige of premier checking account so this is kind of good and uh, so we also love uh, first citizens because you can enroll in overdraft protection and so the bank offers a variety of choices to help you with overdrafts you can link your first citizens bank savings account or apply for a check line reserve account which is a line of credit to help you in case of an, of a, of a, of an over, overdraft so now the only thing is fees do apply for each type of overdraft protection so make sure you understand the bottom line before enrolling in any type of protection and you are able to manage your finances on the go with a mobile app and uh, as i said before first citizens in the last few years has invested a lot in uh, revamping its technology so we love the new tech stack that it has vis-a-vis -vis customers fantastic ux ui really really great 
and uh, you can get alert via email or text about your bank accounts so you can decide which notifications you receive whether it's when your account is low your account balance is low or when your password your password is changed so again you know if somebody's playing games with you right off the bat you don't have to wait like overnight or two days or three days down the road you know right you know right away if somebody playing games with you and you can pay friends or family right from your mobile phone okay you can set up automatic deposits into your savings accounts you can get travelers checks in foreign currency you can earn relationship interest rates on cds with certain checking accounts so this is kind of cool okay, it's kind of cool but you have to have the relationship first though this is really really, really important So now I want to talk to you about the uh, reasons why you might want to look elsewhere. Again, we we're speaking about first citizens credit cards, but it's important to understand that you, if, if you want to consider them for, for your credit cards, for your credit card needs, you might also want to consider them for other banking needs, just in case you are interested, like just in case you're looking for other services. And so here are reasons why you want to look elsewhere. Now, you might have high balances that are required if you want to earn interest on checking. You have low interest rates overall. As I said before, for your CD, for any savings accounts, the interests are really, really uh, abysmal. And uh, there are requirements to waive fees, and, but it's, some of those requirements can be difficult to meet. And uh, First Citizens Bank is not a national bank. So if you want easy access to your funds, you will need to live in one of the 23 to 22, like 22 to 23 states in which uh, the bank is located. So it's important to have that in mind. So when I talk about today's topic, which is what I want to I want to show you how to be approved for a first citizen's credit card right off the bat. As I said before, you actually first need to know the, the, the card types. You need to have knowledge about the bank so you have a clear idea what you're getting yourself into. Just remember that first citizens offers a constellation of uh, of, uh, of uh, I would say account checking account savings accounts. You also have uh, military bank accounts. You have business checking. You have credit cards, you have loans and mortgages, you have investments, you have insurance. So the good thing is that, yeah, First Citizens, yeah, First Citizens does offer vehicle, property, life, pet, and umbrella insurance, which is really uh, kind of uh, kind of strange, not strange, which is, which is really unique because uh, not a lot of banks offer also insurance products. Sometimes what they'll do is they'll have like a, another company that they're affiliated with offering that, but First Citizens as a bank offers vehicle, property, life, pet and umbrella insurance so you can get everything from uh, first citizens one thing i want to say about to, to before actually giving you a like before giving you a clear i would say more information about the first citizens credit card is that you want to have direct deposit coming into a first citizens account this will help you a lot not just uh, for credit cards but also for personal loans for business loans because first citizens will be able to tr will be able to establish a pattern of uh, cash inflows and cash outflows and this will be, this will be very conducive for you if you are applying for a personal loans a personal loan down the road I want to dig a little deeper here in terms of, uh, you know, in terms of uh, the bank itself. Like, what what kind of uh, what kind of bank do we have? When we speak about First Citizens credit cards, obviously, I gave you the credit cards that the, the the four credit cards, the four primary credit cards that First Citizens does have. But what what where are the, where is the bank uh, where is the bank located? Because I I started this conversation by telling you that hey, listen, First Citizens is geo restricted. But how geo restricted are they? So the bank right now maintains about 600 to 650 locations in 22 to 23 states. If you were to, I mean, states and location, sometimes they might be in uh, in uh, in DC, in the nation's capital. That's so, but actually, it's 22 states. So, so here are the states: okay, Arizona, California, Colorado, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Kansas, Maryland, Missouri, Nebraska, Nevada, New Mexico, North Carolina, Oklahoma, Oregon. South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, Virginia, Washington, Washington State, of course, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. Okay, and it's important to understand that the majority of uh, first citizens, uh, the branches are in North Carolina and South Carolina. And but 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 overall, I just want to let you know that it's totally uh, possible to apply even if you're not in those two states. 
And what, what we love here is that for the credit card, you can you can qualify without being uh, in those states because, uh, you know, for, I mean, for the loan, things are different. But for credit cards, they will approve you not a problem at all. But it does help if you have a relationship with the bank, which means what? Which means you have an account with them, right? Which means that you have a checking account, savings account or whatever. And the cool thing is that it is a family friendly bank. It is a family friendly bank. So this is this means what? You can open accounts for yourself. You can open accounts for your children. You can open accounts for your fa for other family members. Again, it's all about it's all about looking at credit cards, but also beyond credit cards. So what I'm trying to say here is that if you want to be approved for a first citizen's credit card real fast, make sure that you have already established the relationship with the bank through other products. And uh, so in terms of how many months or how many years you have to be with them before applying for a credit card, you we have seen based on our research that 12 to 18 months seems to be a great minimum to uh, to actually uh, to, to have before applying for a first citizen's credit card. Let me give you a few alternatives here. So let's say you've been listening to me for the last 15 minutes and you're thinking, you know what? I wish I, I wish I, will, I was good for a first citizens, but for some reason I don't qualify. What are my other, my other options? Well, when it comes to credit cards, you have a constellation of options, right? You have gazillions of options when it comes to credit cards. You can apply with the, with the big national banks, which is Bank of America. You can go with uh, Chase. You can go with uh, Wells Fargo. You can go with Citi. Or you can go, you know, you can try to say, you know what? I want to choose a regional bank. So I want to choose, for instance, Capital One. I want to choose uh, U.S. Bank. I want to choose PNC. I want to choose uh, Citizens Bank. Not First Citizens, but Citizens Bank. The bottom line here is that there are three things you want to pay attention to. You want to pay attention to your, you want to pay attention to your existing relationship. You want to pay attention to your uh, FICO score and you want to pay attention to the specific type of credit card you are looking for. Are you looking for a cashback credit card? Are you looking for a balance transfer credit card? Are you looking for a travel rewards credit card? Are you looking for like all, all kinds of credit card? Are you looking for an every, everyday purchase, like a, an everyday uh, rewards credit card? So, but, so that, that's the second thing. The third thing I want you to look for is your FICO score. Okay, so first thing, your relationship with the bank. Number two, the type of credit card you want. Number three, your, your FICO score. And by extension, your overall financial situation. Are you scraping by or are you rolling in in terms of cash flows right now? W what is your situation, like for real? And it, it's one of those things where you have to ask yourself, if, if I'm actually going to apply for a first citizen's credit card, and uh, do I have the existing relationship? Like, have I been with them for eight, for 12 to 18 months? And number two, do I qualify? Like based on my FICO score, based on my revenue, based on my my annual salary, my uh, my revenue. And number three, the the uh, like what which type of credit card am I looking for? And you 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 need to see this not only at the personal level but also at the family level. Like, like, like if you want to uh, co-apply for this credit card with your wife or husband, for instance, then you have to ask you say this has to be a collective decision as to which type of credit card is best is better for you, right? So you have to always, uh, like you always want to make sure the card you're applying for is in sync with your needs so that you can optimally use it. You can optimize your rewards, you can optimize your cash, re your cash back rewards or whatever rewards you, you wanna go for. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was speaking to you how to apply for a first citizen's credit cards. And so here is a recap I want you to pay attention to. So I spoke to you about the, the card types. So if you want to apply for a first citizen's credit card, familiarize yourself with the, card, with the card types. You need to have a clear idea about what the bank stands for. You want to have an overview about the, the credit card types. You want to also have a review of the specific cards you want to go after. And uh, you want to consider also alternatives. And in terms of alternatives, we talked about Bank of America, Capital One, U.S. Bank, all, all, all the other players there. Thank you. God bless you. I'll speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.